Hey guys, welcome back to Mother's Lifestyle. It's a reaction video. Who made it to the table? You and I, of course, we are here. We are back like we never left. Lazy people everywhere. A quick reminder if you love me, I love you. Woto, woto, woto. I love you in total. I love you to finish. You understand? There's no point wasting our time. I love you back to back. back to backpackers everywhere. Where is my backpacker? Hey, here I come. This time around, I don't just need my customized tent with mosquito net. Nah, 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 nah. Now I need my po. We call it po in Nigeria. I need my party because. <laughs> I thought maybe if I sleep outside, at least I will be able to use Marawa's toilet. Whatever we're doing is what do you well. Cheap level will not give you what you need. The worst part of it is Marawa fired the other plumber. And now the new plumber, Marawa is also telling us that he will not be getting paid. How do you expect this person to survive? Marawa, <laughs> be considering these things you are saying here. Because it doesn't make sense. Information is getting to Coco Mama that the main reason why Nobody is occupying the villa yet, except Mara, because Mara, of course, is used to peeing from outside his window. <laughs> so, possibly, maybe he got his own potty. So, if you are coming to your Hansen, make sure that you arrange for your potty. You must bring, because... You have to, otherwise you will go to the bush. And if you go to the bush, <laughs> I don't know, I don't want to scare anybody. I don't want, you guys should leave me alone, honestly speaking. Who are the backpackers here, apart from you and I? Ginyada is here. Oh. <laughs> Royal came made it to the table. The Burundis, <laughs> with the back and back. <laughs> they did one Yama Yama interview. The PA, <laughs> a quick recap, guys. <laughs> you know, I've been asking, what made the PA to rush out like this, like in a hurry, like as if somebody was chasing her out of your house. The information is not yet verified. <laughs> it's not yet verified, guys, but the information that we are getting is that there's some money issue, financial issue, trust issue, plus everybody is complaining. Like, this girl will not allow you to have access to Marawa without even Marawa's knowledge. Yani, you have to sort her out Sort Marwa out before you will have access to Marwa. <laughs> hey! And again, according to what I'm hearing, it's not verified. Don't say that Coco Mama said, because all we are doing here is we are not minding our business. We're just simply shaking our mouth here and there. We're not killing anybody. You understand what I mean? Yes, of course. I heard that money was missing in the villa. Mm, villa met the girls. Because so many girls, what do you expect? Where is Queen Nasty? I didn't say nasty. Because you know this is my tongue. Sometimes when I want to say L, it will come out like R. I have this issue. It's from my dialect. You guys should leave me alone. Mm -hmm. If you have been following Coco Mama, you must be used to that. So, where is Queen Nasty? Queen uh, Nancy. Huh? <laughs> hey, English is not our baby. Um, because... From what I gathered, she's the one that will be recording. How come everybody is disappearing when the party is coming forward like this? What's going on, guys? <laughs> I thought I have seen it all. Guys, have you noticed that we have so many issues? I saw another picture. Someone shared this with me. You guys should do the math yourself. Compare these two mansions and tell me what you think. This other one is in Nairobi or somewhere. Eh? Village mansion versus... Township mansion, of course. The White House is not our mate. Before, which one do you prefer? Do you prefer the one in the village whereby it's easy for you to bring out your bola from the window and pee? Government will not question you. Nobody will tell you anything. You can use cheap level as you want. Did I hear that Mashubo actually got admission? Because of school fees, he couldn't go to uni. The worst part of it is this dude is working in Marwa's mansion. With no pay, like he's not getting paid. Most people are like that. <laughs> Marwa will use you and dump you. I'm hearing that Merowa is it Merowa? <laughs> I don't know how to. The mud guy, the guy, the clay back guy. <laughs> I heard that Marwa is washing his hands already because all Marwa needs from you is to bring the idea, actualize it, 
if you visualize it you must actualize it with no payment <laughs> i don't know guys where do we start coco mama your own is too much what is going on here behave yourself how can how many minutes now you are just everywhere there you guys should manage me it is what it is guys the way this just scattered all over my brain that's the way i'm bringing it out i cannot come here and kill myself for anybody hmm? Where do we start? Which clip are we going to start watching? But Shiba is here. Our FBI in Yabo has this dude there. There's one Yamayama pastor in Ghana. I'm not going to give him that chance. I'm not going to share his clip here. He's, he has always been seeking attention. He has always he has said so many stuff about me. He said that, oh, Coco Mama works in mortuary. I said, yes, I'm a mortuary attendant. It's an insult where I am to come and call a lady mortuary attendance because according to islamic culture a woman cannot handle that body he understand but this pastor i don't call him pastor i call him fake pastor this fake pastor is so stupid before he says stuff he's not even like calculating and asking questions you know he called mashubo <laughs> i'm gonna in fact let's start from mashubo because uh that's our fbi we have to let him come first before any other person mm -hmm. We are not in a hurry. Have you grabbed something? Grab whatever that is grabbed because we don't need to rush anything. Open that fridge. Sharp, sharp, sharp. Grab your water, your juice. You guys will not kill me. Eh? Hey. Super slaps here and there. I just want to give a special shout out to Agatha. Thank you for that slap. Just when the Bwango thought that she's the only one, you know, getting love. <laughs> you guys, I don't want to start bragging here because again, it will look like we are in competition. But I just want to appreciate you all. A.L. David. The hell. Guys, I'm getting into trouble again. I don't want to call names here. But I want to appreciate each and every one of you. Even clicking in, watching this video. Of course, you are supporting me. Because without you, <laughs> I won't be here. Of course, everybody is important, as we say. Mashubo was called by this fake pastor fake pastor was advising Mashubo. Mashubo, there are three people you should avoid in this YouTube if you want to make money on YouTube. Before you give someone advice, you should advise yourself. Make sure it's working for you. <laughs> Test it first. Test your advice. If the advice is working for you, then you can dish it out to another person. You yourself, we don't know whether you are going up or you are going down on this space. Because of your crooked life. Do whatever you can do in this life. But don't joke with the name of God. Mm? This fake pastor told Mashubu. Avoid Coco Mama. Avoid Black Biore. Our CEO. Avoid Max One from Kenya. I said, hey. And the brother caused a hell out of him. I was like, how can you tell me to avoid my moms? And on top of it, to avoid my brother. Guys, can we watch... He called me. See, he told me that he's a pastor. I, uh, I, you know me, I'm very bright. I'm very bright, my dear. My lovely people, I'm bright. Even those people, I will not mention them. Because I respect you. I will not even mention you, my good people. He told me that uh, I will stay away. With the, I should stay away from that people. But I tell him that one of those, those people, you are telling me to stay away with them. He's my brother. So what do you want me to stay away? If you, you are a man of God, why do you advise me to stay away with my brothers and my sisters and my mom? You are not a man of God. You are a con man. You are a con man. Let me tell you, if you are watching me right now, you are a con man and you are a devil. You are a devil. He's really a devil. Mashibo. There's another thing I noticed in Mashibo's channel. People keep telling him, oh, you're not going to make it. Stop. Go create your content and leave Marwa alone. You're not going to make it. Oh, this one, this one. 
The other city is what I don't understand. People think they can just come to your channel and tell you what to do. You can advise, but you don't have to like force anybody here into any niche at all. You do what works for you. Let's pack yeah. this fake pasta aside. I'm happy that Mashubo addressed him, like finished him. This is the same way he treated Onkumo. When Onkumo was having any issues with the Marawas, he called Onkumo as well. Onkumo came back and fired him. Let's move ahead ahead. Roya Kim met with Ginyada. You can actually learn from someone very close to you if you want to learn. All Marawa is after is my mansion, my mansion. They can have what I have. Oh, I have this. Oh, I have that. Oh, I can do this. Oh, I've done this. I know this and that. Ginyada is a travel vlogger. They have something in common. Okay, she travels around. Um, of course, Marwa travels around. Ginyada put it clear to Roya Akim that as a travel vlogger, she needs to spread out her eggs just in case. She has Airbnb in the US and also in Nairobi. And on top of it, she travels around. So it's something that someone like Marwa should learn from. Let's listen to them. Um, so me, I'm, I'm into Airbnbs now. I do wow. Airbnb business. I did hear about that, yeah. but I didn't want like, to be sure before the camera. Yeah. I wanted you to say it. Yourself. I do. I do Airbnb business uh, in the States and here. Um, so my family runs the States only because I'm not there. But uh, I, I do see the income. But the one here, I started to see how I can... How is the marketing thing with Airbnb? It looks like it's really going well. It's booming. There's so many people invested in doing that. Uh, I've shared one of my apartments here. I have other ones, but I don't want to share that. I just want people to just find me, uh, find out about me through Airbnb or Booking.com. But there's one that I usually stay. And when I'm that right now, uh, a guy from US is staying there. So I'm into Airbnb. Uh, She's into Airbnb. This is success story. You know, this is what we want to hear. You don't brag about YouTubing. I'm a big fish. Because she's also big. She's even bigger than Marwa. Okay. She's 300 plus. No, she's not. It's not even about the number, but it's about thinking. Having this thinking cap on. It's about thinking about your future. Thinking about rainy day. You freaking need to spread out your eggs. Don't put your eggs in one basket. Invest when the money is coming. That's what it means. Great interview she had with Roya Kim. Hey, you see this Roya Kim? That's why I told you guys nobody should go and rush, okay? Because me, <laughs> I, I, have, I don't want to come here and be pretending. My mouth, this my mouth. <laughs> this my mouth always put me in trouble. <laughs> there is power in the tongue. Are you not seeing it with Dim Wango in Jamaica? Dim Wango was like, thunder, fire them. I'm sending thunder. I am sending fire pumps. I'm sending this. Sending earthquake. I'm sending this other. Look at this. Let's listen to Dim Wango's song. Lightning, earthquake, and thunderbolts shake them, God, and let them fall. You're talking about the world is changing. Me Lightning, earthquake, and thunderbolts shake them down and let them fall. Yeah. Strike through the wicked hearts for me. Watch over me, John. Your love makes me so high. This feeling I cannot deny. He never let me run dry. Right. Now, have you seen why we should be careful what comes out from our tongue? This is our tongue. Yeah. This tongue is the sweetest and deadliest thing we have in our body. Most dangerous thing in our body, but yet very sweet. I thought I have seen it all, guys. As soon as Dim Wango did this, earthquake hit Jamaica. Thank goodness, we don't know the extent of the damages there. But we are praying that everybody out there is safe. You are sending the peaceful country. As soon as you come, you are singing this yeah, yes song. Earthquake this, fireborn them, thunder. And at the same time, she's saying goodbye. You better leave Jamaica before you come and put them in what they don't understand. 
you better leave them the way they are. So what am I telling you about this Roya Kim? This Roya Kim, I remember sharing with you guys that initially I noticed that they got something, you know, he has something going on with Ruby Girl. Mm -hmm. So, um, Ruby Girl dropped a video complaining. Of course, she didn't mention Roya Kim's name, but of course, if you follow them, you will know that she has two weeks, like two weeks ago, she has done stuff with Roya Kim, where Roya Kim was proposing to her. Whether it's for views, I don't understand. Because it seems like dude did not mean it. You know, asking Ruby Girl to give him a chance. Oh, are you going to say yes or no? Acting like he is interested to date Ruby Girl, to kick off something with Ruby Girl. And Ruby Girl, according to the video she just dropped, she's heartbroken because she said that actually she's in love with Roya Kim <laughs> and but she was pretending because she wanted to know if Roya Kim was serious for Ruby girl to say that she's already like falling for Roya Kim but she didn't want Roya Kim to know it means that the signs were there she could feel that Roya Kim was faking the love she law. already felt it that Roya Kim didn't mean it you know all the she Shilani. felt it that Roya Kim did not mean those questions he was asking her whether she's going to give him a chance or not because the signs are always there when someone especially an opposite sex is serious with you of course you will know if the person is playing games with you you should know also <laughs> Ruby girl is not a baby so she's heartbroken 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 and someone again from Nigeria dropped a comment and was like uh, Ruby girl calm down Roya Kim is just taking his time I bet you he's gonna come back and I feel like this person might actually be a fake account from Roya Kim trying to confuse her into believing that he is interested I don't think he is interested I think he just came there to better his life not to go into any relationship so we should be careful of all these things or am I having a feeling that Ruby girl is also using this to chase cloud like she's also trying to use this to grow her channel because she's close to the Diana's <laughs> she's close to Diana's sister as well baby Cairo so she might be thinking that oh she's gonna be playing this game do you want me or are you serious can we do something can we not with Roya Kim meanwhile Roya Kim is no longer showing interest someone who just packed his bag from Nairobi to your village and you're already like heartbroken heartbroken like you can't even control yourself and you're bringing it to your channel Ruby girl be coming down yeah I think she, I think guys I feel like she's very young I feel like she's running too much okay if she has felt something for Roya Kim I don't think it should be that serious for her to you know pick up a camera come showing her emotion you know throwing everything out there for us to come and shook our mouth i don't think it should get that serious because this guy you don't know him you need to do your little background checking you don't know whether Roya kim got a wife somewhere in nairobi or even in his village possibly kept his wife and the children somewhere because i know kenyans they marry very early 20 something they're already married and even if they're not married they are, they are making babies i've seen that a lot also in south africa for us in west africa we are still not that uh, too bold like yani a young girl of 20 22 years getting babies you know it's not that common where i come from in my culture in particular but it could be possible that Roya Kim got a wife or a girlfriend with children. You understand? So you don't meet someone and you're already like, your whole body is already peppering you. Yeah? <laughs> I thought I had seen it. <laughs> but Roya Kim, say what you mean and mean what you say. Don't come and do this to a girl. Why acting up? Give me a chance. Because I saw this video. I didn't cut the clip. But when I saw this video, I was like, what is going on with this Roya Kim? You actually made this girl feel like you are interested in her when you know. Some guys are really like that. They will come and act very nice, sweet talk. And you don't know whether that dude has collected his stuff. 
I thought I have seen it. <laughs> Once you you give him, you give you give that one. The guy will be like, finish. I'm done. <laughs> it is what it is. That's why you need to tighten the belt sometimes until you are sure. You understand. You should understand where the ship is going, whether the ship is going up or coming down before you start opening your leg. Wow. I'm just saying, I didn't say that Ruby Girl gave him. You know how we do it here. We are just but thinking will not finish us. Assumption will not kill us on this space. Let's watch her. Thank God I never told him that I really love you. Like I never mentioned it in my I never mentioned it. I never mentioned it to him that I I love you no. but to say the truth I love that boy. I can say he's a boy. <laughs> So I give him 50% to prove to me that he truly loves me. And But for sure, me, I was in love with that man. I really love him the first time I saw him. Yeah, you know, for a woman, like, you can love someone and you just want to, just want to, to, to give him time for him to prove to you that he truly loves you. So you just tell him, mm, me, I don't love you, but deep in your heart. Point of, point of correction, Ruby girl. There's something that she said here that I don't agree with. She said that you can love someone and then in your heart you are pretending so that you will know if this person loves you. You do that, the person will move. The person might actually misinterpret it that you're not interested. But you should be wise enough to see if that person will likely, you know, show interest or return the same energy, the same vibe that you are dishing out to him. As soon as you notice that the person is not forthcoming, because the signs are always there, okay? Before you know it, all the person might, the person might not even be interested. Maybe you are not feeling well and while you are talking in the morning, you called or he called you and you're like, oh, I'm not feeling well. I'm having severe headache. I don't know what's going on with me. In the afternoon, he's not checking. How is your headache? In the evening, you must be the one calling him to remind him, oh, you didn't even call me to ask me how is my headache. It's a sign. Eh? It doesn't matter whether that person is busy or the person will start giving you excuse. Oh, I was really, really busy. No matter how busy someone is, no matter how busy a person is, if the person has some love for you, the person will always give you chance. No matter how busy someone might be, okay? If the person is in love, if the person has value for you, if the person has you in mind, okay? The person will check on you. So, I don't know why she felt like, Oh, I gave him 50% to see if he loves me. You do that, the person will move. If you love that person, be bold enough to express how you feel. But at the same time, <laughs> be careful in dishing out things. Mm -hmm. Be careful because if you feel like going wah is how to show love, then sorry is your name. Let's move ahead ahead. But this royal king, I hope, I hope he's not a player. I hope he has not done something because for this girl to come to her channel, you know, heartbroken, I gave him chance. I loved him, but I was pretending. I expected him to continue with the same way. He was trying out something, but now he has withdrawn. Now he's no longer showing interest. But do you know the worst part of it, guys? <laughs> I will tell you the worst. I'm just giving a scenario here. Let's say Ruby Girl has gone intimate, okay, with him. What I mean is they have done bedroom things. They have marinated. They have dusted each other, you know, nicely, nicely. Let's say they have gotten to that. And this guy is still coming around in the Yabuhanse. And he's not even getting close to you. He's acting like, I don't know you, I don't know you. It kills like nothing else. That one, very, very painful. 
and a lot of guys do that and i don't want to come here and pretend i would blame a lady for giving him so fast you don't show love by opening your legs you show love by going step by step baby step can we move to the burundis ruby girl take your time you're a beautiful young girl very very young why in a hurry for a relationship if the person wants you the signs will be there <laughs> Don't go where you are not celebrated. If the person is not interested, then leave it. There must be someone out there who is interested. Mm -hmm. Don't come and kill yourself on top of a guy that you don't even have an idea. Like you don't know him. Yani? You don't know him. The Burundians were interviewed by Baki Baki. <laughs> you know Baki Baki? Baki Baki is an opportunist, okay? Wherever there is something, she will grab for content is not your mate, view is not your mate. So she met up with the Burundians and she was interviewing them. Of course, the first question I was my that was my interest. The, that first question, okay, how they are going to answer it. Me, I don't want to hear what Diana has to say in this their relationship. Because me, I don't know about you, from the one that I started shooking my mouth in their relationship. I know her stand already, but still I don't know the stand of the Burundi. Burundi is like Uno Suno. Eh? Today he's okay. <laughs> Tomorrow he's giving Diana this cold shoulder. He's giving Diana. He's you know acting up. Oh, my mama told me to marry. I'm the only boy. I'm not ready. And that. that's exactly the vibe this guy will always throw out here. Guess what? When Baki Baki asked that question, are you guys dating? I expected the guy. Hey, come and see Diana running her mouth. Yeah, we are dating. Around that time that we went to Burundi, we are dating about three months. And then Burundi says, yeah, three months. What did I pick here? This is a proof. One day, if something goes wrong in this their ship, Burundian traveler will be like, I never said it that we are dating. She actually put words into my mouth. She's actually the one forcing me to say this thing. She's actually the one pushing me to act like we're in a relationship. I never, I never, I never. Let's listen to them. Because me, I'm tired of this Diana. Come and see how this girl was running her. Didn't even allow Burundian traveler to talk. Like, I would expect this is an opportunity for you to keep quiet. And let this guy tell the world who you are to him. This girl, <laughs> and as soon as I saw this Diana with, guys, guys, as soon as I saw Diana with Mickey Mickey, I, ca I cannot come here and tell you that Diana is Diana that we know. Because what she's doing now is, she's lying for content. What am I seeing with Davidinho and Casta? What are they doing in the pool? Hey! Anything for views. If you believe those words, eh, confusion. Every, there's a comment I'm going to paste here, and I agree with this person. That Virginia is confused. That Virginia always hallucinates. That Virginia needs a mental workup. Maximum. Nobody can tell me anything. You would think that he's done and dusted with this girl. Their chapter is closed. Tomorrow you will see them. You'll be like, what's going on here? <laughs> I pity his audience, honestly speaking. Me, I didn't bring the onions here. I cannot cut that clip because you guys know that Virginia already. I don't need to convince you here whether what I'm saying is true or not. We spotted them again with Casta. View is not your mate. Just last week we saw him with another girl acting like he's going into a new relationship. Let's watch the Burundians and how Diana Kemi is disgracing herself. What a disgrace. Eh? I would allow Burundi traveler to talk. Diana is supposed to keep quiet. Diana is supposed to shut your mouth and let this guy come out and address you. And let this guy come out and profess his love to you. God, let's watch them. How are you guys doing, the two of you now? Let's talk about the two of you. Together. Are you, are you, are you guys are dating? Are you guys dating? Yeah. 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 <laughs> 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 okay, you guys are dating. So how for how long have you been dating? Uh, ever since I I think we met. You, you see, during that time when we were at home, 
then we decided to take some journey to Burundi. Mm -hmm. I think now that was the time. That, that, that's how long now? I think three months have passed. Mm -hmm. Three months? Yeah, around three months. Three months have passed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How was your journey together to Burundi, by the way? It was nice for <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Were you? <laughs> okay. <we're... laughs> Guys, I don't want Burundi traveler to go. <laughs> I don't want BT to collapse. <laughs> Guys, can you take a look at his face? Rewind back and watch and see his expression. <laughs> I don't want anything to happen to BT because BT looks like. <laughs> BT looks like. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm not dead. <laughs> His face, all I'm seeing is what are you talking about, Diana? We are not dating, dating what? I will never marry you. That's what I'm seeing. You guys should leave me alone. I know they got fans, and those their fans are also my people. You understand? <laughs> I know I'm seeing all of you guys. You guys should understand because Coco Mama, I'm just trying my best to say it the way it is, the way I feel, the way I feel. May not be the way you feel. I respect that. So long as we are respecting each other. At the end of the day, we agree to disagree. At the end of the day, we will be all right. We are not killing anybody here. At the end of the day, all we want is for Diana to understand how these things work. It shouldn't be one-sided. I've always said this. Just take a look at BT. Look at his expression. Look at his face. Look at how uncomfortable he is. Look at how he's not being vocal. You know? You will never believe that this guy actually talks. He, you know, he talks a lot. You cannot believe it. He, he acts as if he's seeing camera for the first time. You understand? He's acting as if he's camera shy. Why I understand? I understand what, you know, like when you are with someone, you don't want to leave that person because, you know, in one way or the other, you are benefiting from the relationship. I would I even call it the relationship, the company, like, he knows he's benefiting from the company. He knows that he's using this girl. Like, Yanni, as long as he is in Kenya, he's using this girl. But deep down his heart, this is not who he wants. He wouldn't want something, you know how you would say, oh, you're already visualizing you settling down, this person being your wife, or having something very serious something very tangible with this person. I don't think BT is seeing Diana that way. I'm sorry, guys. Let's leave it there. But this one made my day. How I wish Diana allowed him to talk, like by force. Because I expected Baki Baki to ask that question. Baki Baki, why are you not addressing why BA left? Baki Baki is also busy setting up Airbnb with Cloud Joseph. Hey, they were even in the kitchen cooking and of course this other jamaican lady jamaican background but from the u.s was also there i think she's no longer staying with ismith because it was ismith that welcomed her when she flew in i started the same lady by cloud joseph airbnb i think that's where she is now of course channel recharging is not our mate who is our next person here there's a clip that i saw on ig i want to shoot my mouth because I was reading comments from this clip and I became somehow upset. I want you guys to be honest with me and tell me what you think seeing this mom doing this to her child. Some nasty comments from the IG post, the person that shared this on IG, and someone was saying, Stop that nonsense! How how can you pour saliva on your child? How can you infect your child? What Coco Mama is seeing here is mother's love. Okay, she can from that container pour water on her baby's head, she can do the same from the container direct to her baby's head. But she needed to 
keep the water inside her mouth to warm up the water she didn't want to put probably cold water you don't know how cold it is where they are because looking at them look at the background you can tell that they are in the bush and yet they are contented and living their life look at how sweet and how plumpy this baby is looking and look at the smile on mom's face look at the mom as well you can tell that she looks after her baby she cares for her baby there's something else that we do in my culture i know if you are westerner hearing me talk about this you will feel disgusted but this is what we do it's a common practice where i come from and actually i have done that also to my children when your baby got flu or congested nose you actually use your mouth and suck out the mucus from your baby's nose because you cannot let your child be having difficulty to breathe you cannot let your child be struggling to breathe especially when they are tender age they don't, they don't know how to spit out the excess mucus from their nose they don't know how to cough they're gonna let your child be struggling to breathe with sniffy nose with blocked nose you freaking put your mouth and suck everything out and spit it out that's a common practice where we come from you do that when the baby is still young and helpless so you help the baby out if you can take your baby's putu without even minding that you might actually get flu from that or your baby can actually infect looking at this child child looks very clean and tight looking at mom mom is happy looking after her baby and the baby was not crying you know you can tell that the, this is shooting to the baby it's a common practice in africa and people must not interfere at all if it's working for them we need to respect them the way they the are the next one is a lady from Iyabohanse, okay she made a reaction complaining why people are about mouthing pa saying bad stuff about pa pa is desperate pa is sleeping with marawa pa is doing too much and this lady was like oh you guys know that pa is struggling she has struggles you know she needs to do what she needs to do to look after her family she explained how she struggled to come down to your house how Oga Arondante helped, how she didn't have any money on her, and that, that, that. why are people saying all these stuff? Where is the evidence? Mm? <laughs> this lady needs to be reminded the job of PA on YouTube and how Marwa met PA. This lady needs to be reminded that PA has also said bad stuff about others. So the measure you give is the measure you receive. If you don't know anything about someone, ask questions. Let me even say that she's not aware of these things. Again, after I watched this reaction that this lady dropped, I'm going to share the clips with you guys. I saw that she also shared another video where she was heartbroken, taking her baby to hospital. She's a hairdresser and she hangs around the Marawas, okay, the villa. And she was like, oh, my baby got some eye issues and surgery will be oh, done pray for me, oh pray for my baby, my baby doesn't deserve this. Why they were going to the hospital? I'm looking at her and I'm like, I don't want to sound like, I'm a mom, I don't want to sound like I'm judging her or something. But I'm like, so you have the time to be doing all this nonsense in the villa. At the same time, the same time she was complaining and asking her audience to pray for her. At the same time, she was more concerned about, oh, this party that is about to happen. She was even saying, oh, Marwa's party for one month. Marwa is tired. Marwa needs help. PA is doing a lot for Marwa. Eh? You are telling us the good part. PA helping Marwa. But you are not sharing what PA is also doing to people that want to reach out to Marwa. You understand? How she was almost like collecting bribes in order to allow people to meet Marwa and other stuff that we don't know. Why are people so myopic like this? At the same time, you have a baby that needs your attention. You are taking this baby to hospital. You left your mom to back the baby and you are running your mouth. Every day you carry your camera because you want to grow your channel and you left your baby like this. Guys, I don't want to judge this girl, but after I watched her videos 
I watched a lot of videos and I decided to come here and talk about this. We mothers, we need to pay more attention to things that matter. Be there when your child needs you. Because I believe that she's disconnected with her baby. I understand what she's going through emotionally, you know, she felt bad that her child has to go through all this at a very tender age. But for the fact that she left this child with her mom, while they were going to the hospital, it was her mom that backed the baby. And she left the clinic, came outside, and be recording, and telling people, oh, I need money. I want to attend this party because I'm the one that will be making and playing the visitors that may want to do their hair. Oh, this one, I have to do it because I need money. You guys should pray for me. At the same time, she's crying. At the same time, I feel like she needs to do more for her child. She needs to be there for her child. And she looks like she's a single mom because I didn't hear her mention anything about the baby's dad. Let's watch her. Let's watch her reaction about PA first before we play this other one. Honest and sincere, Paris is really, really working hard and extra hard. She as a PA, she had a lot of work, guys. She really have a lot of work. And you know, also she's a, a YouTuber. She have to create time for vlogging. It's not an easy thing for Paris to be working at the same time vlogging. And people are really talking bad about Paris, which is not a nice thing. I saw how people were commenting Paris, uh, how people are really commenting bad to Paris live. Not only at that live, but also to the previous video that uh, she posted. And Paris has been a very, very guy, good and nice girl who is working extra, extra hard to feel, to, to do what? Guys, what will I say? I don't know what's wrong with people. I feel so bad when people are just giving out the big, big insults to Paris. When you're just uh, commenting to somebody's video, why can't you even think about uh, yourself too? Because maybe one day, one time you go open your video, even you, you're not perfect. Why can't you just leave that girl to do her work on her own, how she, she chooses to do up. the work? If you don't know what to say, just keep quiet. You don't know PA, basically. So keep quiet. She said that she met PA when PA came to her village. So what is she talking about? You don't know who this person is. You don't know the kind of mouth she has. You don't know how dirty her mouth is. Eh? You don't know how she has messed up herself. Who made her PA? Who made her to move in with a guy that did not, there was no agreement, no contract. For two months, she was busy. What she was doing there, we don't know. What is she talking about? Let's watch this other clip, guys. She's here, she's my mother, and I have my baby here. So she's the cause of this video, actually, guys. Huh? So much stressed, I, I'm not okay because they are telling me my daughter is, will be, end up doing the eye surgery. The reason is because of her eyes, they don't tinkle normally. Once they, they just look at a place, they cannot even tinkle. Yeah, guys. So she was trying to express the condition of the baby you know that affected one of her, her eyes and she was all emotional down 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 but at the same time she was worried about the party how she needs to be there to do the visitors uh, da, 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 da. i'm like hey mama look after your baby first money is not everything pay attention bond with your baby why letting your mama back the baby this is the time you need to connect with your baby let your baby feel your warmth because you know that she's really going through a lot and there's another thing she did when she was showing her baby she used her bare hand to remove stuff from the baby's eyes the same eye that you are complaining that baby needs surgery the same eye you are infecting with your dirty hands and you can imagine how as she's doing this her mom will also like she's the one that's supposed to at least be educating her mom no you don't do this at least you use tissue paper and you are not even supposed to be removing it like repeatedly because again the eyes will be irritated more and more and more she's supposed to either i'm sure she must have collected like eye drops from the hospital she's supposed to just be adding the medication and let the, the, the medication do the work and drain out 
the debris from baby's eyes rather than using her hand to infect the baby. You know? And every day she's in your hands fighting for PA. PA that you don't know from Adam. You don't know what she has done or what she even did there. We are all coming to praise you, all coming to make her look like she's the best person, make her look like she's the perfect person. Come on, stop it. Nobody is perfect. Guys, before we call it a day, there's one clip that we need to look at. Anne was interviewed by this guy. I was all excited because as I clicked to watch, she was very, very vocal. Not camera shy at all. Unlike her, you know. In the past, she has done videos with Coco Girl. You will notice that she's not that loud. She's not that comfortable in front of the camera. But this time around, Anne is different. But again, she was giving too much credit to Marwa. I'm like, Anne, stop it. Oh, you know, Marwa has done a lot. Oh, without Marwa, this. So, oh, Marwa is. Done. Oh, Anne, you need to come out and let the world know what is going on now. Where's your dad? How is your situation now? How is your home condition now? Okay, Marwa made you famous. She was giving Marwa credit for making her famous, making her family known. After that, what next? How are they using that publicity now? How is that popularity helping the family now? The family has gone back to where they were before. The difference is that house. That house that doesn't even make sense. Why is it that they always film outside the house? <laughs> Why is it that they cannot... Even when Coco Girl visited, they barely film inside. The Coco Girl has actually showed the, the room. Very tiny room like that. But look at what Mayogno is putting up. See how wicked these people are. Anne was talking too much. But talking nothing. She wasn't making sense at all. Oh, Marwa did this for us. Oh, Mara, let's watch her before we call it a day, guys. Lazy people everywhere. Yeah, you know, Anne, you've you become popular on the internet. And <laughs> okay, all of this is just because of Mara. You know, Mara, yes, by yeah. the way, Mara is the one who have made me to yes. become famous, yes, you know? Yeah. yeah, because without him, yeah. I think I, I could not be known. Even knew you could not Yeah, it's true. Here, yeah. Thanks to I am Mara. Without Marwa, you will not be known. Now that you are known, what is next? What is happening now? Without Marwa, you will not be known. Even this interviewer will not know you. Even Coco Mama will not receive insults without Marwa. <laughs> I was actually called names because of this ad. I don't understand why nobody in that family can have a YouTube channel. With all this popularity. Oh, Marwa made us famous. Nobody! Not the boys. I can understand the parents. Okay? They are purely, purely Swahili speakers. Okay? But look at Anne. Anne is back home. Probably on holiday. Other students there. They are on YouTube. I don't understand. Mara made me famous. Mara made me popular. Anne, shut up and receive sense. Eh? Release yourself from this burden. Because I believe that she's the only one that can help out her family. Release yourself from this bondage. Who is brainwashing you? Mara made you popular. And then, your parents are still struggling to eat. Mara made you popular. And look at the situation of your parents. Mara made you popular. Your mom cannot even afford three square meal. Mara made you popular. Upon all the money he collected to set up a business, for your parents. That business did not work. That business is gone and gone forever. Why? Because it was not set up properly. Expected. We came here and we said it. There's no way that business could have worked. No ways. Oh, without Marawa, nobody would know us. Without this. Why is it that I'm having feeling that uh, this Mickey Mickey is Loki passport sister? Come and see her again busy everywhere. Our medical students are big nursing students. You guys should leave me alone. Passport sisters everywhere. <laughs> hey! I don't want to start calling their names. But as soon as Marwa receives Mel Visitor, the next thing Miki Miki is doing stuff with them. Steve J1, you know. Not only that, even this other Nigerian one, Kenneth. All of them. Miki Miki is everywhere and everywhere. 
passport sisters everywhere. Locally made passport. <laughs> Locally made passport sisters. What we are seeing there. Ha. I hope that before this party kicks off, that this plumbing issue in the villa will be solved. So that people will not come and be carrying their poop up and down. Huh? And the animals, they should sort out where the animals sleep, their sleeping place. Otherwise, you don't want when you are in your tent sleeping, a cow or a goat will run on top of you. <laughs> what a nightmare. Guys, I thought I have seen it all. Let's call it a day here. If you watch till this moment, you know who you are. You are the best. Of course, you are the bestest. Without you guys, like seriously, how come? How impossible. But because of you guys, so we're coming, we're going, we're going, and we are coming like we never left it. You guys are too much. Thank you for all you do for Coco Mama. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your likes, your comments, your shares. Thank you for all you do for Coco Mama. I love and appreciate you all from the bottom, bottom ends of my heart. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Bring someone to the table. Tell a friend, tell a friend about Coco Mama. I'll see you all in my another one. Peace out, peace out, peace out. Bye bye. Bye guys. Slow and put it on me. No like that she my brother. We gon' live forever. On the island, to the mainland, pulling up in the pima.